Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And tonight I am doing a reading for Pisces. So tonight it is the 25th of March, 2024, the full moon. So happy full moon, Pisces. Let's get into it. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching the videos, when you're supposed to receive the messages. Messages for Pisces. You have expectation. Great fortune and official person. So you could be expecting something, something great. Obviously, there's a great fortune coming in. This could be from a boss, someone high up. Could be money, could be something special, something that you are excited about. Distant horizon. So there's a new ship moving in, a new ship coming. grab out some tarot but there is something great that's coming in the distance Pisces uh, coming from someone official obviously a boss or a leader I feel like you've put the work in for this you're just waiting for the rewards messages for Pisces The Queen of Coins. Money, money, money. The Knave of Coins, which is the Page of Pentacles. The Six of Coins. Giving. A deal. The Lovers. Gemini energy, the Ten of Swords in the center of your reading tonight, Pisces, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Cups. And the Four of Cups. On the back of the deck, you've got the Emperor and the Eight of Swords. So you're in your head about something. At the end of the reading here, you've got the Four of Cups. So there's like this missed opportunity that could arise, but we will get into the tarot. Let's do it. What's the Queen of Coins for Pisces? So you have the Nine of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Having clarity, seeing truth, putting up the boundaries, fighting for what you believe in. And you've got the Nine of Cups. So fighting for something in the career world with the Queen of Coins coming out. It doesn't have to be. It could also be family because she is a mother. But you see clarity and truth. There's a new beginning of some type of wish fulfillment that you've been fighting for. There could have been manipulation that you needed to fight against. But there is a wish fulfillment I feel you're fighting for and it's coming in towards you, Pisces. Let's see. What's the Knave of Coins? You've got the Knight of Cups, so water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio.
the Eight of Cups. And the Three of Cups. So you've got the Knave of Coins, the Page of Coins, Earth Energy, Younger Energy. Someone that could come in and out. Someone that you could have walked away from with the Three of Cups coming out. This could have been family. This could have been something that wasn't fulfilling. Something that... You know, I feel like this person does want to come in, but they do come in and out of your life because this is something that I feel you've walked away from. I feel like this person may want to reconcile. A younger energy, as I said, could have Earth in their chart. Someone coming with something to say. But this is something that I feel like you chose to walk away from. This person's wanting to move forwards. You know, they're looking at the Six of Coins. So what's the Six of Coins? What is the Six of Coins for Pisces? So you have Strength. The Six of Wands in reverse. The Fool and Death. So this person could have also been breadcrumbing you. You know, this was a choice to walk away from this person. This person... You got the Three of Wands on... Sorry, the Queen of Wands on the back of the deck. So could have been a three-party situation. You know, as I said, this person could have been drinking, celebrating, but they're looking at that six of coins. There could have been some type of agreement, um, some type of breadcrumbing. You know, but you looked at, you're looking at this end. I feel like it is taking a lot to push yourself to the end of this, but there is a complete ending. There's no, there's no victory in this with the six of wands in reverse. There could have been a lot of arguments also with strength coming out. Leo energy could have been with someone that has Leo in their chart. These two are, are like fighting here. I was going to say arguing, fighting, arguing. But you're looking at death. You know, Aries, Aquarius energy. We're ready to make this over. You know, cut this off. Because there's some type of breadcrumbing, I feel that was in it. I feel like you're focused on yourself too. There's some type of wish fulfillment in your energy while this person is here, maybe causing stagnancy. So what's the lovers? What is the lovers for Pisces? So making the choice, you've got the three of swords. The Ace of Coins. Making the choice to start a new beginning with the Ace of Coins coming out. You know, with the Ace of Coins on the right of weight, there is a archway into a new world. So it's like you're going into some type of new world. Um, letting this heartbreak happen. And then you've got the King of Wands. So I feel like you're moving passionately towards something that is fulfilling you. I also feel like... With the King of Wands, there could be an energy that you are choosing with the King of Wands coming out. Fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They could have fire in their chart. Someone that is very in awe of you. This person is thinking you're smoking hot. Could have Virgo in their chart. But the number one's coming out to me like a new beginning. Sitting in making a choice energy and then there's the Ten of Swords. So some type of betrayal or ending. There could have been betrayal in the past. What's the Ten of Swords? You've got Temperance, so Sagittarius energy. There's healing with this ending. The Two of Coins. And the Star. 
So juggling whether you want this to work or not, uh, whether you want to move forwards with this or not, but I feel like in the end you do choose to let go with the star coming out, let go of control. She's pouring out both those cups there, so pouring out all the emotion, letting this go in Divine's hands, putting the last sword down. There could have been some type of codependency between you and this person with the devil coming out, Capricorn energy, two people that thought they were stuck together, but there is healing once this closure, once this decision is made. This is some type of lesson for you, Pisces. You got the four of wands coming out now. So 11, 11, you're on the right track. So this was something that you needed to learn from in this lifetime. Learn to let go of like codependency. What's the four of wands? It's made you a stronger person. You've got the moon. So Pisces Cancer, you've got the Knave of Cups. So there is good news once you move towards your new path. I feel with the moon coming out, you're hopping out of your emotions. You're letting this all go. And the Knight of Swords. And I feel like you're moving forwards. You could be moving forwards towards a younger energy. There's some type of good news that I feel is going to move in, in the distance. You just need to, I feel, go through that finish line with the four of wands coming out to start a new beginning. Hop out of those emotions. Start that new journey. Follow that new path. Younger energy, attractive someone admiring you. No, but you're making the decision to move forward. There's action here with the Knight of Swords. You're going to move forwards towards this new path. You know, and with swords coming out, you know, you're using your logic and hopping out of those emotions. Okay, Pisces. Let's do this energy but i feel like this is you moving forwards in the future this queen of swords energy using logic to make decisions being on a path snakes could be significant shredding of the skin rebirth what is the queen of swords for pisces The world so there's a completion of a cycle with that past energy moving forward the six of swords so now things may be coming more peaceful more stable in your life you're moving towards that new world and then you've got judgment so there's some type of call you're waking two you could be um coming together with someone that has scorpio in their chart you don't have to but there's some type of call that i feel you're rising to i feel like divine's waking you up there's some type of career move that i feel there could be money coming with you do have great fortune coming into your life What is the Queen of Cups? You've got the Three of Swords in reverse. The Hanged Man. And the Ten of Swords. So I feel like with the Queen of Cups coming out, you see the light, you see the truth. With the Hanged Man, Pisces energy looking at something from a different point of view.
You got the three of swords in reverse. So I don't feel like this is hurting you, this ending. I feel like now you look at this from a different point of view. I feel like you rise from those ashes. I feel like you give to this. You accept it. You know, and you move on. And I feel like this is something that has made you realize that you give to yourself with the Queen of Cups coming out. She's holding that cup back. So it's like you are holding your cup back for yourself now. This is a lesson that was learned um, to give to yourself. You may have um, not learned that lesson about giving to yourself. But now this is something that was meant to happen for a reason and you realize that so what's the four of cups what is the four of cups for pisces you have the nine of swords the ace of wands in reverse And the Three of Cups. So I did see that Three of Swords in reverse. I was thinking there could be something that's not over yet. But you're learning the lessons, Pisces. You've got the Four of Cups coming out. You've got the King of Swords on the back of the deck. There's someone in your energy, someone that could be watching you, someone that could have air in their charge, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they don't have to, it could be an ex, someone that's a logic thinker, someone that's holding back their words, um, I feel like this person's in your energy and I feel like they're wanting to reconnect with you, I feel like this is not over um, for them. They look like they've missed an opportunity. There's crying here. I don't think you're crying anymore. You're looking over at that sadness. And I feel like this person does want to reconnect. I feel like they're wanting a passionate new beginning. It's delayed for some reason because there's some type of um, imprisonment either in their mind, actual physical, in jail. Um, this person is going through their own karma, I feel. You're going to be rewarded for this though, I feel Pisces in the, in the future. You can see it on the Kipper cards there. What is the Emperor? So this is what you don't see Pisces. What is the Emperor? The Queen of Swords. So the Emperor, Aries energy. The Ace of Swords. So there's a new beginning for you. You're choosing a new beginning. You're being the boss. You're being the Emperor. You know, you're choosing a wish fulfillment. You're choosing equal, an agreement. There could be agreement coming in your future. Some people giving to each other. But there is some type of wish fulfillment and, you know, with the Ace of Swords coming out, clarity, a new beginning, using the logic. Um, the Emperor also uses his logic. Uh, someone that people come to it for advice. Someone that makes the decisions. Masculine energy. You know, he is the divine masculine also. I feel like you're making the choice. They're making the choice to start this new beginning that's going to lead to your fulfillment, your wish fulfillment. What is the Eight of Swords? You've got Judgment. The Six of Swords. And the Knight of Cups.
So there's some type of agreement thing that I feel keeps coming out to me. That six of coins agreement thing is really <laughs> coming out. You could be in your head about some type of agreement that's coming in about a new path, about rising to the core with judgment coming out. This could be with someone that has Scorpio in their chart, but this is something that, you know, with the Six of Swords, there's like movement into karma water with. With the Knight of Cups coming out, this person could have water in their chart. This is someone that's reliable though. Uh, this person may have been someone that's in and out of your energy with the Knight coming out, but this is someone that's an action taker. I feel like this is part of that moon path. I feel like you need to just go with the flow of life with whatever's coming and moving forwards towards you um, to if it agrees with whatever you're doing at the moment, you know, go with it. But, you know, if it doesn't, don't. I want to see what this judgment is. Tell us more about this judgment, please, spirits. This person could have been left out in the cold, but they're wanting to start some type of new beginning. They're going to choose a path with the two of wands coming out. Being at a crossroads, though, I feel at the moment. But there is some type of new path that you will be taking. I feel like you're both in your head about this new beginning, but it is part of the new path, I feel. I feel like you're going from this energy to this energy, you know, which is great. <laughs> but sometimes you do have to walk the path alone, you know, the dark night of the soul. One card for Pisces. Number five, change. A pleasant smile at work will help you more than a dismal countenance okay and we will do a music message New Flame, Chris Brown. So, the card, everybody. To me, it's like she's feeling her emotions. She's swimming under the water, going with the flow of her body movement. Interstellar goddess, you are exquisitively rare and far greater than you think you are. So three plus two is five also, so five, change. Dragonflies also can be significant. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Pisces, thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless, so if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. Also, don't forget, I do have 11% um, off my personal readings on my website still until the end of March. So if you would like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. Also, write in the code word birthday and you will get that 11% off. 
So thank you all for supporting me. Thank you for being here. You know, I love you guys. I love you so much for being here and supporting me. And, you know, I love being here doing these readings every day. Um, this is my passion. I love doing this. Um, but I love you all so much again. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.